Here comes Haig and his crazy antics. Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Waldron and welcome to another video. This video is going to be a nice tips and tricks on panel line washes, how we can sort of improve them and helping us when we're doing panel lines. So when we finish our model, we sprayed it all up and all our panel lines, we put some sort of a wash in there to bring out all those recessed panel lines, recessed rivets. So we're just going to do a bit of experimenting here and just see how they flow and how we can sort of improve that. Because um, I know sometimes you're trying to sort of do your panel line wash and and uh, if you do a pin wash, sometimes it doesn't quite flow and stuff. So we're, we're basically going to be concentrating more on enamels. But I am going to show you a little bit of the good old sludge wash just here. What I've got just in front of me is this is basically just a bit of plastic card. I've got a pea cutter and I've cut nice and evenly down about four lines. And we're going to just see how this flows down which gives us the best results and um, should be a nice little tip at the end uh, we're going to start off with some um, dark dirt nice weathering wash just here um, you've probably all seen it and basically what this is is you paint it on and then you rub it away but we just want to see what capillary action this has what flow it has so first line I'm just going to do a bit of a bit of a dab and we're just seeing what kind of flow it has, which as you can see, it doesn't. Um, and it doesn't because it's not designed to really, it's designed to be sort of painted on like so. And then once it's dried, you wipe it away and you just leave what's in the recessed panel lines. Pretty nice and simple, but um, you know, it's, um, shall we say it's one way of doing it. Um, but I, you know, an enamel paints I do find a little bit more advanced because you can sort of play around with them. You can do nice little streaking effects and stuff, and that's what we're going to look at now. I have, you know, taught you in the past um, doing like panel line washes, doing the good old um, pin wash. So we've got ourselves some Black Knight uh, one one six one one. This is by Ammo. Um, I know Mig Productions. They do sort of like similar stuff and stuff, but it, it's basically um, an enamel that's been thinned down to the right consistency to do panel line washes. So we're now going to do that. I'm just gonna. I'm also going to be using some um, odorless turpentine as well for this, which I'll show you later. But I'm just going to just dip that, clean my paintbrush off, so my paintbrush is thinking um, enamel-based paints rather than the water-based I've just used. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to dip this and we're going to see how well this flows, right? So if I just dab this, hopefully as you can see, maybe we'll bring you in a little bit closer on these. As you can see, as I do a pin wash and touch it, it flows, All right? But as you can see, I mean, the flow is okay. You know, I do have to kind of do a lot of pins right to keep sort of get it all filled in all right but what i'm going to show you next is a nice little tip how to improve that flow right so let's just clean my paintbrush off dip it into our thinners here clean it off get it all nice and clean uh, what you can do on your model to improve that flow is if we dip into our thinners right and if we just paint right down it right Thinners nice and clear, right? Our model should be nicely glossed up, right? So we haven't got to worry about this um, eating into the paint or anything like that. And we've just painted that on, can't see it. But if we now do the pin wash with our Black Knight by Ammo, right? And we pin it, we should see an improvement in the flow all right hopefully you can see i'm pinning this a lot less along here i mean you can see all the little dots where i've pinned it and um, there's probably like a pin every like i don't know less than say five millimeters but here um, i'm pinning this probably like a good two centimeters spaced 
right and that is the cool thing about just adding that little bit of thinners we can very quickly with less mess go all the way along so if you're ever having that sort of maybe an issue because i know sometimes it's kind of weird but in some parts of a model you it just doesn't seem to flow at all and you almost end up having to just paint it on um, it's kind of weird that way sometimes it happens if you do have that problem just paint on a bit of odorless turpentine or some sort of um, thinners that they recommend and all this kind of stuff and you get so much lovely lovely flow um, as a last little one just um, I haven't actually sort of experimented with this but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the same thing with our good old sludge wash here let's add a bit of water so I'm just cleaning off my paintbrush now and I'm going to do the same technique but with our final line just here this probably won't work but let's just find out anyway saves you guys going off giving it a go um, and be like oh, that didn't work I'll just show you quickly now and see if this improves and actually it does We've gone from, as you can see just here, where you literally pin it and it doesn't go any further than where you pin it, but actually, even with a sludge wash, adding a bit of water improves the flow. So basically, it's just adding some sort of thinners down our recess panel line, which makes it nice and moist, which just gives um, pretty much, as you can see, any pin wash a bit more flow um, and hopefully that has helped you with a nice little tip or trick to improve on any kind of pin washes or even slud washes you do um, to help you with all that kind of weathering with uh, recessed panel lines and recessed rivets so um, there's another tips and tricks hope you've enjoyed so until next time my name is Bob Waldron this is Genesis Models and I'll catch you later